Hello, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. Today I'm going to talk about one image only and that's because this is one of my more uh, iconic images, if not probably one I'm best known for, um, although I'd like to think there are a few of those. <laughs> but um, truth be told, maybe not that many. So this image um, that you're looking at, um, uh, the caption reads, Children from Arniston or Van Hees Krantz, surfing off the Western Cape coast. Frequent missile testing at a nearby military base prevented fishermen from their village going out on boats to earn a living. 1989. So, yes, the caption is quite loaded. Uh, and so is the image, I think, I'd like to think. Um, of, uh, we'll start with the image, the image of um, these kids on this high vantage point overlooking this really beautiful uh, bay. Um, not, 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 a, not a very big classic kind of bay, but a bay nonetheless. Um, and um, young kids body surfing, black kids body surfing. Back then, that wasn't a, a very common sight. Although I think for these kids in this community, it was part of their life, really. But for me, as an outsider coming in, it was it certainly captured my attention. And this crunch along here that I was uh, where I was located was a very popular place for fishermen, for young people to come and hang out at the ocean side. And uh, for these people, these were ocean people, the people of Vanes. Van Eskrantz or Arniston. Um, Arniston today is known as a sort of an upmarket, you know, wealthy elite uh, enclave. But Arniston was established, truth be told, something I didn't know when I, in 1989 when I made this image, by, by ex-slaves, released slaves who came and uh, established a, a settlement. Um, along the coast, because one of the things that they could do if they didn't want to labor on fields um, in post-slave-like conditions was to become independent by being living off the ocean. And so um, they, uh, Arniston has these really beautiful um, now historical cottages that were in fact built by ex-slaves. So my, my a contemporary project I'm working on, which looks at slavery, will include that factor um, of who these people, um, these are the quite arguably the descendants of slaves that we are looking at in this image. And so this image of captures, in a way, freedom uh, of uh, from slavery. We forget, I mean, the reason that, that slavery is part of my project is because we forget in South Africa that half our, of our 400 year history, almost half of it, is, was the history of slavery. Um, it's, it was a huge factor in uh, our, our emerging story as a colonized and settled people and, um, and, and a huge part of our present day genetics is one of slavery. So this makes it this is a really makes this a really important image. And the reason I was here, um, every, the reason I, I I was physically present at, uh, to be able to make this image was because I had come and I'll put a link in the video uh, description below for those that are interested in a in a in a fascinating article that was written by uh, the great journalist Charles Leonard. Uh, talking about this image, the making of this image, and uh, how he and uh, myself and and um, the journalist, the late great journalist uh, Eddie Koch, uh, came on this on this journey to um, of, to tell the story. One of the stories we told on an epic <laughs> trip, as it turned out to be, of um, this community who uh, were now still fishermen, you know, largely living off the ocean. And um, and uh, about ten kilometers or five to ten kilometers behind Arniston is a military base, 
and um, the military would do artillery testing every sort of once a month or so, and they'd block off uh, fishermen's access to the ocean for um, a week, days at a time, a week, maybe sometimes even more than a week. And for fishermen who were living a very precarious lifestyle, uh, going out in their fishing boats, and we did that, we went out with them, um, uh, that had a huge impact, financially impact. Anyway, it was, an, it was a way for us to be able to tell the story of the military's activities as well. So we came down to to, um, to meet the fishermen and tell their story. And, um, and so whilst this is not exactly a fisherman's story, um, which I have many of the, those images, it tells the story of this community in, in, in as profound a way, I think, if not more, because um, uh, this timelessness, like the previous, um, if you look at um, uh, the session number 29, I talk about an, an image uh, of you know childhood and the sort of uh, the rite of passage of of, of childhood. Um, it it captures that, and when you know who these who these people are, and as I say, in 1989, I had no clue who they were really. I, it's something I've subsequently come to understand. You begin to see that um, and understand that um, um, that this image. Um, is is um, is iconic for for some very good reasons. I mean, the 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 interest that that um, that people show in this image is usually devoid of all that contextual knowledge, um, and people just see a very strong image that that captures um, that rite of passage of of youth. Um, I, I realized um, because I've been scanning my archive, so you know, going back to the early day, early days of my archive, I realized that as a beginning photographer, as somebody just setting out to become a photographer, I photographed a lot of children back then because it was easy to access. Um, you know, children are very open, and uh, and uh, they they haven't got the layers um, of um, that that come with adulthood. Um, of um, you know, uh, being concerned about how they're perceived, and they're open and easy to engage with. And of course, we live in an age now where, where it's really complex to photograph children because of um, the huge amounts of abuse that naturally exist of exploitation of children. So um, you know, in a way, um, you know. Uh, Things are as complex, uh, perhaps m much more complex now than they were back then, um, and and we need to um, we need to remove the you know the the dangers that children are are faced with, um, and and allow them to be children in in every sense of the word, in in ways that are not problematized. So um, um, this image um, will will definitely be um, part of my uh, slavery story, um, as well as uh, um, the, the documentation. I'd, I'd always hoped to be able to. I did return to Arniston one, twice, th three times. I've returned uh, since this image, uh, but never been able to do the extensive documentation that I would have loved to have done. Although. The little bit that I did um, is, I think, fairly significant in these far-flung places that uh, are essentially a very big part of our history uh, as in the making of, an, of the, the contemporary modern nation, if you like. So I'll end it there and say thank you for watching. More information on myself and my work can be found on my website, a link to which, including my blog and email address, can be found in the video description below. If you like this talk, remember to click the like button and press subscribe, it helps the channel grow.